What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. Today, we're going to look at a very highly speculated topic, and the possibility of it playing a much bigger role in these upcoming games, weather. Now, I know weather itself may sound dull, but there's a lot more to it, especially from what we've seen from the last six generations of Pokemon. Weather was originally an in-battle feature introduced in Pokemon Gold and Silver, and it was expanded in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald to, for example, affect the overworld in certain locations that could also affect the battles that took place in that location. Ruby and Sapphire also brought in the Weather Institute building in Route 119, where the player could learn about abnormal weather conditions around the Hoenn region. Aside from receiving Cast Firm as a gift Pokemon, it had no purpose in Ruby and Sapphire, but Pokemon Emerald gave it the added purpose of allowing the player to locate the Terra and Marine Cave, where Kyogre and Groudon could be caught. But since Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are remix of Ruby and Sapphire, Kyogre and Groudon will likely be obtainable the same way and the Terra and Marine Cave probably won't exist. But now that three generations filled with new features have passed by, there is a lot more in Game Freak's reach that fans are expecting, which have led Pokemon fans to speculating additions that can exist in these games, specifically on the Weather Institute and Weather itself. Along with the Weather Trio, there is also another trio that can cause abnormal weather conditions, known as the Forces of Nature, Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. Game Freak has always added additional legendaries, especially in remakes, to make completing the national decks less far-fetched. That's the whole reason they threw Lugia and Ho-Oh in Naval Rock and Mew in Faraway Island in a few Generation 3 games. Just like in Emerald, there could be abnormal weather conditions that can be discovered through the Weather Institute, and just like in Black and White, these three Forces of Nature could be traveling around the region, carrying the disastrous weather with them. Tornadus and Thunderous could be version exclusives, with Landers being obtainable when you have the two. It almost seems too fitting for Game Freak to not include. In Generation 5, Unova introduced the Season System, where the overworld would change depending on the four seasons. But it was more than just a simple change. For example, in the winter, snow would pile up in locations and allow the player to climb up to usually unreachable locations. Following that, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, on rare occasions, the Weather Institute could tell you about unusual weather patterns in specific locations. Imagine a heavy rainstorm raises the water level and allows you to surf over to a secret building, like Shoal Cave and its tides, or a snowstorm creating a path up to a secret megastone. It would be a great way to add on to post-game content, as well as making it more of a challenge to fully discover each location in the region. And finally, along with more changes in weather and areas, is the speculation on swarms. Swarms of Pokemon could temporarily gather up in locations, like a swarm of Pokemon attracted to the rain gathering up in a location where it's raining, like a polywag with Swift Swim. It's a pretty minor thing, but swarms have always been a thing, especially in remakes. And weather is just one of the many things that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire has the potential to completely expand, and I'll cover those in a future video. But just remember that these theories aren't just shot out of nowhere, they're based on things Game Freak has actually done before in previous games, and can possibly follow for these upcoming games. But anyways, that's it for the speculation video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let me know what you guys think about giving weather a bigger purpose in these games, from a granting access to new areas, to new non hoen legendaries. I think it would be a great addition to the post game and I feel like it would all be missed potential if some of it didn't prove to exist in the final games. There's going to be a ton of more speculation on these new games, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.